Moving on now, electric scooters are nothing new in Memphis, but now there are gas-powered motor scooters, and a nonprofit group has spent the last year quietly setting up shop in this city and are now ready to get busy. The group rolled one of their rides in before Shelby County Commissioners this morning, and Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews was there. It's local in Memphis. Toot toot. Ah, uh, beep beep. That's what they heard. It's definitely not a Harley born to be wild machine. If anything, it has a born to be mild attitude to it. This is part of the My City Rides program to help people without a car get around in Memphis. My City Rides is a nonprofit whose primary mission is to help people get to and from work. The scooter runs on gasoline. Not much of it. It gets close to 90 miles a gallon. Top speed is about 60. Commissioners liked what they heard. This is a huge advantage for many people. Memphis and the car are like a hot dog and mustard, made for each other. Companies that have moved here often have to ask the governments to set up bus service to their businesses so their employees can get there. My City Ride set up shop about a year ago quietly. We spent the first year building the program and determining what it takes not only to put people on scooters but to keep them out there and to put the systems and infrastructure in place to be ready to scale. There are 123 scooters on the road right now and only in Memphis. No other city in the country has My City Rides. For $90 a month you get what you need and rent the scooter. It's rent to own by the way. After three years this hog is yours. We're at the point where we're interested in meeting with local businesses that have workforces that may have transportation challenges. Commissioners liked what they heard. My City Rides folks wants them to get county employees involved, maybe even automatically deducting the 90 bucks a month out of their checks. This is a perfect addition to our city, and uh, I will be fully supportive of it. It is an indication of the ever-changing transportation market in Memphis and in Shelby County. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.